Very well played in that back corner. Wait. What in the heck is that? Hello and good morning everyone. Hope your guys' day is starting off awesome. Scrooby Dooby right here. Just barely woke up you guys. It's 40 now. He woke up 10 minutes ago. They went to bed early last night. They were sleepy from that pool life yesterday, huh? Really pushed it hard yesterday. They could like barely stand up at the end of the day. Super glad that they were able to sleep in today. Get some much needed rest. I on the other hand went to bed early. Woke up like 3 in the morning. I don't know why that happens. It's like my body will not allow me to go to bed early. Every single time I try to go to bed early, I wake up in the middle of the night. Starting off today, Hazy and Brex are doing soccer camp again. Today's the last day. They had so much fun with it the first day. I can't remember if I said this the other day, but Hazy and Brex loved soccer so much. I signed them both up for soccer. They were doing soccer earlier in the season. Then it got canceled because of coronavirus. Now they are putting it back on for fall. I also signed Kruby up for flag football. Very excited. A lot of fun things coming this fall. Hopefully life can go a teeny, teeny bit back to normal. I don't think we'll ever go back to what our normal was. Maybe adding in a few sports and stuff. That will be fun for the kids. Water, check. Cleats, check. Cliff bar, check. Sassy, check. Check and lipstick. Gotta have that lipstick. Leave your lipstick here though. They know we're now. How was soccer? Did you have fun? Good. What was your favorite thing? What did you learn? Awesome stuff. You did a really good job. I'm proud of you. Now it's Brexy's turn. Right, guys. Where did you come from? Out of the ordinary. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. What did you do for your chores? This is quiz. I uh, swept, which is vacuum. Did the upstairs trashes. Those are my chores. Did you clean your room? Yep. You no, know, you guys, the best way I can always find out if my kids have done their chores, I'll be like, okay, what did you do then? Sometimes they'll tell me what they did like just now, or else they're like, let me go check and see what they are again. <laughs> They've been pretty good at doing them. Brex is finishing up his little soccer camp, and today is the last day. He is about as red as they come. You even smell good. Getting pretty warm out here. Brex, you're helping to clean up and everything. You're such a good boy. Soccer champ. Home having a little snack, little fruit snack. Rexy, you are so good at soccer and I can't wait for you to be on your team. Yeah. You did really good. Miss Hazy, I feel like I'm always catching you in the pantry. How is that? You little stinker. You did really good at soccer today too. What are you reaching for? Pirate booty? Let me get that for you. Arr, I love pirate booty. There's something I have been working on for a little while and it's actually taken me way longer than it should have for the longest time. I have been working on a post about Hazel's bedroom. I feel like her bedroom was such a big deal. Her bedroom is so amazing. I just don't feel like we gave it enough credit. Her room is actually a little bit of a mess right now. I made an entire blog post about everything we did in the room, from the wallpaper, to the bed, to the sheets, to the chairs, to the window, to the wall. This beautiful thing, everything in her room, every detail in her room, I wrote an entire blog post about it and took a lot of time. That's why it's taken me so long to get it out. Really fun, really cute. There's some really darling pictures of her on there. So go on over to thisishowiebingham.com. You guys can read all about her room. If you're wondering about any of the details that we did in her room, go check that out. I have some party prep that I need to do for tomorrow. I'm gonna head out and run a few errands. Kids are gonna hang out here until I get back. Alright guys, should we watch this 27 more times or should we play hide and seek? Hide and seek! <laughs> okay, let's play hide and seek. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> We got time for probably only like one or two rounds of hide and seek because Claire and Carmen are going boating. Less than an hour to get going boating. What Crew doesn't know is that he's going with them today, bro. What? You're going boating with them today. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. I wanted to surprise them on camera with that because Crew has been dying and begging to go boating. Probably every day this summer he has asked to go. Because of that, we got to get in a round of hide. These guys have been wanting to play hide and seek today. So I made a video, so I said let's do one quick, simple and easy round. Not like a full blown hide and seek challenge video, but a fun round of hide and seek indoors before you guys head out and go boating. We've got seven of us total if you include me. We can either do three teams of two or we can do individual hiding. What do you guys want to do? Individual hiding. Individual hiding? Because Okay, so no teams, individual hiding. And Carmen had a really good reason why. Why do you want to do individuals? Because then if you're hiding with a team, you have to hide with them. But if you're hiding you separate, do. then you can hide in smaller spots. Yes, yeah, so Carmen, because she is so pint-sized, she can fit in some little tiny I'm areas tiny where too. Brexton's like huge. He can't fit anywhere. So, I can't fit anywhere. Right, guys? You just stand in the open. I'll just be like, Wear some camouflage. And you. And then I probably will have to be the seeker because I'm too big to hide anywhere. Should we do that? Should I be the seeker and you guys hide? Do you guys want to do that? Yeah! Okay, let's just do it. I'll count. Full house, full house. Full house, nothing off limits. Just don't go outside because I'm only going to check in the house. And no garage. No and garage. no garage, yeah, just because I'll. 
Okay, garage is in, garage is in, garage is in. I think garage is in. Just be safe in the garage. Okay, I'll start counting. Ready? Just came up with a winning idea so that I can't hear where they're going or any notifications from the home alarm system. I'm gonna go downstairs at my desk, put on my noise canceling Beats headphones so I can't hear anything, stare at the wall, and you guys go hide so I won't know where you go. And if you come downstairs to hide, just sneak behind me. I won't be able to hear you. I won't look, I promise. What am I counting to? What's the time? We're doing two minutes? How long? Two minutes, yeah. Two minutes to get in your spots? Okay, two minutes to get in your spots. It'll start when I get my headphones on, okay? So I'll yell go. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna turn on the noise canceling and then two minute timer begins. Ready, set, go! I am hiding in the garage. Set a timer for two minutes. All three of us are hiding in the garage. Super top secret savage lit spot. That's gonna score jackpot if he comes here. Okay, Gotta set this up. Guys, I might need your help. I'm getting this. I am hiding in the garage up there. But I need to set you guys down. Right there. If anybody comes and hides behind me here, I will try not to see them go past. Two minute countdown, two minute countdown. Hey crew, going all the way up. Where am I even gonna hide up here? Where should I hide up here? Right there is good. Oh, that's sketchy. Crew's fly racing stuff. <laughs> you have to be quiet though, Hazy, you have to be quiet. This does not feel stable at all. It's not, you're gonna fall straight through. I already tried to get up there. Uh oh. Yeah, it's sketchy. Look, just move these boxes. And now, I just go like this. I'm still talking. Later. Crew. Floaties. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh gosh, that actually has stuff in it. Crew. Oh my gosh, guys, Claire's in the car. Hi, Claire. Chill up here until my dad finds me. Gosh, that actually has stuff in it. Um, how do I get over here? Just stay right there? No, I'm gonna get over. That's padded, that is padded. Let's go. Because this is very uncomfortable. That will fall through. Right now, I'm up here with crew. I'm honestly just snuggled in tight. I think I'm just gonna chill up here and tell my dad finds me. Ready or not, here I come! Guess I should probably take these off. Okay, let's go. Ready or not, here I come! Coming, coming, coming! Check some of the traditional spots, some of the easier places to look. Closets, under tables, chairs, behind couches! Nope. He came out two minutes ago. You've always got the bathroom, no. closet, six kids, only so many bedrooms. Can't be too many places. Hello? Anybody in here? Hmm. Save the garage for later. We did decide to put the garage on limits last minute. I'm gonna do the interior first. I didn't even check the basement. I don't feel like I sensed anybody go by me down there though. Okay, here. Check in here. Sometimes get some guys in here. Back there. Back here, anybody? No. Moana, you playing? No, she's not playing. Upstairs we go. Main level's pretty easy to check. This is where it gets interesting. All right, first thing I'm gonna do right in here. Shower. Nope, wow. Thought for sure we'd get one in there. Okay, anybody in here? Oh, well, guys, I'm not gonna let me show on this. This is our bedroom, a little bit messy right now because I did not plan on playing this game today. Nobody over there, nobody over there. All right, anybody in here? Hello, hello. Seems kind of muffled in here. Anybody back there? Anybody in there? Nobody. My tiny closet? Oh, I gotta tell you, that'd be a good spot if somebody figured out how to get in there. Crew, oh my god. Dad's out there. I'm pretty sure my dad just came. I'm pretty sure. I just heard my dad say, Is anyone out here? My guy, dad's here. I don't know where to go. I think I'm just gonna hide in this little bucket. I'm just climbing. I literally almost just fell over. I'm maneuvering. Is it yeah, look at that. Gonna, gonna kneel down right here and hope that I win. I got got the best spot. Early bird gets the worm. I want to make my way over there. Do you need my help? How far does this go? Let's go. This is the best spot of all. Guaranteed. You're fine. Just stay there. I don't know where to hide. Do I hide like get all the way back here? I'm in full on pink, so probably isn't the best hide and seek clothes. I think what is most unsettling is that I've been through almost half of the house, the entire main floor, half of the upstairs, and I don't hear a thing. Like normally you'd hear some giggling, some breathing, something. I hear nothing. It's kind of eerie, guys. I feel like I'm not going to do well. Here we are in Hazy's room. Closet time! Oh, I forgot we put this thing in here. That makes it really hard to hide in there. These pillows seem kind of strangely perched right here. Hello! Oh my gosh, nobody. I'm starting to feel kind of bad at this. Here we go, classic, classic, classic. The bedroom. Guys, where are people? There's nobody in this bed, nobody in this bed. Hazel! Hazy is not in her classic spot. All right guys, it's getting dire now. I have only a few rooms left to check unless everybody hit the garage. Laundry room, negative. I mean, I'm looking for six human beings, six human beings, unless they are all in the exact same room. I have no idea where they'll be. Rag guys room, here we go. You guys missed the end of yesterday's video. Rag guy installed some insane LED color changing lights behind his bed that light up the whole wall. Check that out the very very end of the video freaking insane it's like a club a party in here but besides the point because I'm looking under the bed nobody closet is very rarely closed 
that's also a little bit messy in here. Anybody in? I got someone! Oh, Rexon! Incredible hiding spot. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Hey, and you got mom's iPad. Are you just getting some entertainment in there? We're lighting. <laughs> some lighting. Rexon, nicely done, bro. Behind the laundry basket and the clothes. Anybody else in here with you? Oh my gosh! Carmen! Oh my gosh! What the heck? Brixton, you played that so well because I was about to walk away and you didn't say anything and then I was like, wait a minute, what if he tagged him hidden here? Did you know how I guessed that? Because I'm running out of rooms and I haven't found anybody yet, so. I'm pretty sure my dad just found someone who can hear him. He might be above us, right, guy? Crew, should I knock? And a knock. Let's knock. I gotta find somebody. There's six people to find. Carmen, very well played in that back corner. <laughs> they can hear that up above, if they're up above. Wait. What in the heck is that? We just knocked up on the ceiling and right above that ceiling, ceiling is my room. And then they will hear us because they're up in my Where is that under coming from? It's under the bed, I know it. I just looked under the bed. I felt like vibrating on my feet. I literally just looked under the bed. There is no way. Oh my. Anybody under there? I think. There is no way. I don't see anybody. Where, the Guys, that's creeping me out. All I heard was a bunch of knocking <laughs> right next to us. Guys, I'm like, I got chills. What was Wait, that? Guys. I know just behind is. the pillow. I know what it is. Behind the bed? Hang on, hang on. There is no way there's anybody under here. Guys, this is insane. There is nobody under here. What was that? What was I know that what knocking? It is. I know what it is. Can you tell me or no? No. She knows something and will not spill the beans. That's a good teammate though. Just like Brexton was good in covering for you, trying to get out of the closet. <laughs> she knows something's up, but me and Brex are covered in chills right now because we just heard we knocking heard it, right next it. to us. I'm honestly chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, Do you guys hear that? Yeah. I heard some Hazel young Shh, shh, shh. They're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming. Can you guys hear them? I'm just gonna check right behind here. Oh, I got a hazel. Oh my goodness, hazel. Great hiding spot. It took me forever to find you. Good hey, job. You got, you got second. Honestly, all of you were so hard to find. Got, You're sweaty. This got, room is pretty no, hot. My knees are sweating. No, she's a kid. She got third. I still can't get over that knocking. What was that knocking? Still three people left me, Ragai, and Claire. Claire's down there in that truck. Ragai's over there. And I'm right here. All the pool floaties. It's literally a bucket hanging half across the edge. I'll tell you guys when I get found. Carmen is spilling the beans to Brexton as far as what's going on down there. I gotta tell you guys, I thoroughly checked underneath that bed and I don't see anyone. I don't know how there could be anyone in there. But we are missing crew, Claire, and Rye Guy still. My dad is almost coming out here. He's literally right above us. We heard him rushing down the stairs. He might have gone into the basement. Which is this is so scary because you can literally hear people walking above you and below you. We were really high up to the ceiling, so if anyone walks above us, we can literally hear them going boom, 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 and yelling. Ragai's room is literally right above us right now. Pretty sure they found someone in Ragai's room. Let me show you guys again how far that drop is. That is so... <gasps> Ragai, they're coming! I don't know how good of spots you can actually get into in two minutes. Nope, nobody outside, but outside was off limits except garage. Let's go hit garage, then I'll hit basement. He literally came out like 10 minutes ago. We've been hiding for 10 minutes. Last time Ragai hit in the truck, so I don't know if Claire's gonna get found, but me and Ragai are total winners. This can collapse. So sketchy here in the Keep your camera down low. Right in front of me. <laughs> this thing that goes on top of our car. I'm trying to stay really safe. If they got basement, they really snuck one behind me because I did not hear a thing. Here we go. Garage time. Here we go. Look at this. He's coming out. Ragai, we have the sign for over here. Garage is a little bit picked up. Brexy helped me organize this a little bit the other day. Now, would truck be included in garage is the question. There's not a lot of spots to hide here unless... Oh, what was that? Oh, that was you. Holy cow, Hazy Girl, that scared me. He just walked past us. Nobody's up there, I hope. Wait, the ladder's out. That makes me nervous somebody's up there. The ladder's out. It's always been out. But there's nobody up there, so how... There's not even a spot to hide unless they got in the cargo thing, which nobody's gonna get in the cargo thing. You have to have the keys for that. All right, let's come check over here. Yeah, nobody on the side. Check in the truck. Check in here. Open it for me, would you? Pull hard, harder. Oh my gosh! Claire! What the heck? Under the bench. In the truck. Incredible. Incredible. Hold on, I gotta find out if you're in here alone because we've had some team hiding. Just like not advertised as team hiding. Which was tricky! Nope, nobody over there. Alright, yeah. Claire, nicely done. I went up over there so he's not gonna know. Fry guys right there so they don't know where we are. We only have crew and Rai guys left. It's fine. You lasted pretty dang long. I gotta admit, I'm taking a very long time to find people, you guys. I'm not doing well at this, which I never do. That's why the kids love to play with me. It just takes me a long time to find them. Wait, oh, that's Brexton and Carmen. So where the heck is crew? Well, when we were upstairs, you guys, we had something very, very fishy happen. I found Carmen and Brex in Ryler's closet. Then while I was talking to them, somebody started knocking on the underside of the bed. Like, rapid knocking. No, okay, but you were So then I checked under the bed very thoroughly, looked no, everywhere. No, there was no Carmen one under there. 
there, I pulled no, all the pillows out. No, no one there. It when is freaking went, me out right now. When you went down, I like went under the bed, searched the whole thing. Nobody's there. Wait, so you're telling me that knocking was not from? Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Just a thought. I'll, I'll go back and check because I gotta be on the check. Guys, I'm still weirded out by the ladder right here, but I don't see anyone. You guys see anyone up there? I don't see anyone up there. Oh, climb up there. No, that's dangerous. Don't climb up there. I'm gonna go check this spot that I'm thinking of. I'm just gonna climb. No, I don't want you guys to climb up here. So I'll climb up here to just make sure nobody else does. I have a helmet, Dad. A helmet? That doesn't help. Okay, we're going up here. I don't see how anyone could possibly hide up here because yeah, there's the pool. You have to literally get underneath something. Oh, there's a blue bin over here. Let me see this blue bin over here. Nope. I don't see it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Guys, right guy is behind this box! Oh my gosh! That scared me so bad, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was knocking up there so hard. That was You're the knocking? We were just going. Oh my gosh! Ryler is the knocking from the What? What? Crew win! What? Let's go! My mind is blown! Oh so my I are about to fall off. I only found you because you're at the top of the ladder. I got up all the way over there nice. and climbed all the way over here. Okay, this is crazy. I was going to go upstairs and I, what I figured was somebody must have been underneath the sink. You were knocking so knocking hard. Knocking through the wall and that's what we heard. But Carmen said she felt vibrations. Brexton felt vibrations in the bed. And you guys were knocking on this roof, on the ceiling, through to Rye Guy's room. Woo! Mind blown. We won. I won. Sorry, Rye Guy. Second place, first place, Woo! insane hiding spots, you guys. They were tucked down in there. There was no way I was seeing that. If you could find a way to get the ladder put back somehow. I literally got up over you there and went all the way over here. Are you serious? I got up over there and climbed over right. everything. I said we use the garage to be safe. That's not very safe, very epic. How do you be safe? So for an impromptu boy, I am sweating just from being out in the garage. It's hot, hot, hot outside, you guys, and garages really heat up even hotter. For an impromptu round of hide and seek, just for fun, that was one of the most savage rounds of hide and seek I've ever experienced, dude. You guys had the coolest hiding and I gotta tell you guys, every one of you did a great job because it took me forever. I searched like the whole house all the way down to the end corner room before I found the first people, which was these guys. Then I found Hazy, Claire out in the truck, and then last you guys in the garage top. Nobody came down to the basement, so that was kind of cool. But epic round of hide and seek. Smash the like button Woo! for these guys. Rye guy coming to a second place, first place. Unfortunately, no money on the line. Oh, just for fun. <laughs> Mom just walked in the door and she has got unicorn poop. She's got poop pops. Literally got unicorn poop pops. Look, I just bought these for decorations because they're so cute. Tomorrow, we are throwing the unicorn party of the century. It's gonna be the most magical day of my life. It's gonna be very rainbow unicorny. Corny? Corny. It's gonna be a corny for sure. If I'm involved, it's gonna be corny. Mom is back with a bunch more party favors, party prep, party planning, still full swing. You guys, it is swing. shocking how much unicorn, so much unicorn stuff everywhere you go. And that's helpful because if you're trying to piece together a unicorn party, party. you want to do that. And Hazel's not here, so now is the perfect time. Yes, and hurry and unload. Man, I was productive. Crushing this morning there, and so while you were gone, we played a speed lightning round of hide and seek. Here's the crazy thing though. Turned into like a haunted hide and seek. You'll have to watch the video. It's absolutely insane. There's knocking Sounds on the awesome. ceilings and floors and walls, and we can't figure out what it is. We're all freaking out. Rex and I are like shaking. What was on the ceiling? I'm a little scared. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. We are packing up the car right now. We're doing a fun, very late and belated Father's Day thing, a little get together with Mindy's parents, her side of the family. We're gonna go to a fun splash pad, picking up I some think pizza, be fun. and celebrate Papa Bob. Yes. I'm growing. Do you want to go race bus with me? Yeah! Guys, we're going to go do bottom! Where's my toys? Start all the way up there. Okay. Woo! Get this wet, babe! Back home now from the splash pad. Tons of fun with Mon and Papa tonight. Fun celebrating Papa. Now, if you didn't see this, you gotta check out our Insta stories, guys. We actually had a flat tire in the parking lot. Thankfully, Brandon saved the day. Yep, check out our Insta stories. That's 100% <laughs> true. Not true. Thankfully, we were right near Papa's house. We went over to his house. He's got all the gear you would need in his giant yeah. garage to fix a flat. So, jacked it up, had his little. <laughs> 
or how you call that thing, pulled it right off, popped in a little plug that he happened to have on hand. I mean, come on, who you has guys, this stuff on he hand? He can do anything. He can do absolutely anything and he can do it fast and better than the next guy. So, patched it up and we were on our way. Fun and eventful finish to that splash pad adventure. You guys had a lot of fun playing the hide and go seek. Yes, hide and seek today was a blast. Oh my gosh. It ended up like, I can't even tell you how confused I was as I thought that someone was knocking inside of their room. Very well played in that back corner. Wait. What in the heck is that? I thought that someone was inside of the cabinet underneath in the bathroom, knocking through the wall. I was so sure of it. Oh, that's right. You haven't even seen it yet. So anyways, you guys, smash the like button for that one. A ton of fun today. It's party central going on. We got tons of party prep over here. Things going down. Brandon just might turn into a unicorn before this is I over. I actually already am one. I'm full <laughs> of rainbow magic and sparkle. We do have <laughs> Hazel's party going down tomorrow. Yeah. Unicorn. It's gonna be really fun. Her so actual it. birthday following day. Cruise, Cruise party, party the, the next, next day. day. Family oh. party the next day. So many things coming up. Make sure you stick around, subscribe, smash the like, come back every day tomorrow. Awesome. It'll be a great day for that. We love, love you guys you. so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Oh, how do I get over here? Oh, <laughs>